Texas is home to many languages and ethnic groups. According to the U.S. Census, in 2008, more than one-third of the Texas population was of Latino descent. Most of them speak English now, but what does their English sound like? Is there a Latino dialect of English? Or have they adapted to the traditional Texas speech patterns? Do they talk with a twang? Let us meet some students at the University of Texas and ask them about their dialect. These students grew up in Texas and speak English as fluently as anyone else here. But do they sound Texan? Do they even consider themselves to be Texan? It's kind of funny because when I was growing up, when I was little, I, I said I was Mexican, you know? And um, uh, I guess because I was raised with my grandpa and my grandma and my mom. Um, and like, they were all into their Mexican roots. That's all I would hear, corridos and uh, tires del norte. I watched novelas, you know, that's all I knew. And uh, it wasn't, I guess, until I got to school that I started like meeting other little kids and uh, other kids and they were like, oh, the, the Power Rangers and uh, you know, the cartoons and they were in English. And uh, then I started like, I guess I became more Americanized and, um, and I consider myself an, a Mexican American. And um, I've, I guess it keeps changing because now that I'm in college, I, I, I went back, you know, like, I'm a Latino. That's what I say, I'm, not, I'm a Latino now. I mean, I still love my roots, but I also uh, appreciate being born in Texas. Like, I love Texas. I do say I'm a Texan also. So um, it's, I guess it just kind of depends. And, uh, but I do consider myself, a, I guess, a Latino Texan. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> Most of the students share this special background, and the Spanish language is an important part of it. Some of them have a slight Spanish accent. Well, I would say I think in Spanish sometimes, and so when I'm speaking English, some of my words come out backwards. Or sometimes I forget how to say a word in English. But my Spanish isn't the best, but that's just, since, that's just how I think. I don't know if that makes any sense. I've lost a lot of my Spanish these past few years. Definitely. I miss being able to speak Spanish. Sometimes I'll be speaking it and I'm at a loss for words or I can't think of the right verb or I can't um, express myself correctly. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a sad thing for me. I mean, why is it sad? I mean, you, you could just wow. speak English all the time, right? Well, that's true. <laughs> but I just think it's, it's like a part of who I am. And so it's, it's hard that, it's hard to know that I've lost a little piece of that. Most of them do not speak a Texas dialect, although they have picked up some words. As far as accents, no. But as far as words, yes. Okay. Um, because like y'all, I say it all the time, I don't like that I say it, but I hear it so much that it just becomes natural. Um, but I actually really dislike the word. I don't, oh. I don't like the twang of it. Or... Oh, okay. Why, why is that? I, I, like, it, it's not what I grew up saying. And so, to me, when I first heard it, it was like, that's not a word, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know? I well, mean, they told me I have a Texan accent when I go to another state. I used to speak like people from Texas, but um, I think I do. I guess you, I, I don't really, I mean, I guess because when where you're from, everyone speaks like kind of how you are. And it's not till I got to Austin, where I, where I noticed all these people, like people from El Paso, speak different. And uh, I'm in a fraternity, so like I have brothers from every like a lot of cities, and like some of the brothers from El Paso, they speak real different. And I'm like, oh, you must be from El Paso, you know? And they tell me, yeah, you, you, you talk like people from Dallas. So why would these students not pick up a traditional Texas accent, although they have lived here all their life? At the Mexican American Cultural Center. We meet Tony Nelson Herrera to get an idea. She has published a book on language among Latinos. I mean, I think even sort of Southern white culture is a bit put upon in its, in its own way. I mean, I think it's, look, it's, it's been looked down on within the U.S. So even having a Southern accent isn't something that, you know, maybe certain pockets of places have it, but those are probably pockets of places also where, where there's less Latinos. And, and especially here in Texas, you know, you have, you have a lot of centers where you have a Latino majority. 
So you're not going to have as much exposure to, to hearing those accents. And I'm, I'm, that would be my, my uh, assumption as to why. You don't even hear it as much amongst white, white Southerners, you know, here mm -hmm. in Texas. You don't necessarily hear that accent. So people that have those accents, I mean, they may try, be trying to, to get them out of their speech as well. I mean, in the United States, a lot of us, I think, have um, an accent that probably sounds like the dominant accent in the news media. I mean, in some ways, you know, in some ways I almost feel like you learn your English from television. And if you notice on television, it's almost, it's odd and it sticks out when you even hear people with Southern accents. So we would have to find Latinos who grew up in an Anglo majority community to see if they pick up a Texas accent. That's how we met Christina. She has some of the typical Texas features. For example, she changes the I to A. Ah. We asked her whether people notice her accent. Oh yeah, I hear it a lot, especially when I go somewhere else. Um, we'll go to Florida and people are like, they're from Texas. I mean, of course, I'm wearing usually burnt orange or my favorite shirt is, uh, y'all may go to hell and I'll go to Texas. That's kind of funny. Um, of course, I don't know anybody else in the other state that's like really proud to be from their state. I mean, you don't see like, hi, I'm from Maryland. Or like, I mean, I have a t-shirt that says everything's bigger in Texas and I wear it constantly. I mean, I've had to buy multiple of them because there's so many. Um, but I don't know, it's just, I love it. It's really nice here. I, I don't think I'd live anywhere else. It's, I mean, it's a Southern charm. I mean, I'm sure if I spoke, you know, slower without the accent, and, you know, I was like, hello, welcome to Texas. Um, hope you'll have a nice day. I, it's just not as same as like, hi, welcome to Texas. I hope you have a great time. I mean, it, it's just the way we say things differently. It, it, we're more laid back, especially like when I went to California for the national game, Book of Horns. Um, I, I spent an entire week there and they just thought it was so funny. They were like, oh my gosh, say something else. And I would be like, after a while, I just like tone it down because I'm tired of being like, oh look, she's from Texas, say something. And it's just, I, I feel like a dog doing tricks. I mean, I just say something, go and speak. I, I don't want to do that. I, that's just weird. Looking at our interviewees, we find that a big difference is whether they speak English as their first language. Students who learn English at school seem to speak a more standard version. As noted before, the language of the people they grew up with will have a big impact too. Their attitudes towards Texas are important as well. Talking Texas goes hand in hand with wearing orange or pride in Texas history. One thing that unites all of our interviewees is that they attend a prestigious university where dialects are often looked down on. So some might try to get rid of their Texan features in their speech. Getting rid of the accent, I don't like it because I am who I am. I mean, yeah, I don't speak Spanish. I'm the worst Mexican, Hispanic, Latino, whatever they call me ever. But I mean, I'm from Texas. I grew up where I grew up. I mean, everyone has an accent, whether they, we hear it or not. I mean, it's, it's different, but you know, like we can't help it. And that's who I am. I, I can't change that. A cantar un corrido te da un coraje que lloras. Cinco...